I messed up. You'll never reach your goals if you never try. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to push myself to reach my goal, to become a professional BMX rider. Along the road to reaching that goal, you will run into some setbacks and bumps in the road on your way there, sooner or later. I've tried to live by four things that an early BMX mentor told me. If you're not crashing, you're not trying hard enough. If you're not afraid to try something, you're not pushing yourself. And never back out, always commit. And do it better. And on August 19th, that's what I did. I was afraid and unsure, but I pushed myself and committed, and I fell. I fell pretty hard. Ow, 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 Again, ow, ow. if you're not crashing, you're not trying hard enough. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to reach my goal, and I crashed. It happens. It's part of the sport. You'll never get anywhere if you don't push your boundaries. I've been working so hard to reach my goal. I'm sponsored by a clothing brand, Appear. I promote them and they help me out. They toss me some clothing and give me some publicity. I was filming a web video for them. And when you're going to be doing something that is available for anyone in the world to see, you want to do the best you can and produce the highest quality product. I pushed myself to the best that I can do, to the edge of my capabilities. But unfortunately, Probably I pushed a little too hard this time. If you're if you keep putting stress on something, sooner or later, something has to give way. And that time had come for me. Something no, gave way. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! How bad? It's really bad. Oh my God. That ended me up with a torn ACL and sprained rotator cuff. I ended up having to have surgery a month later on September 17th to rebuild my knee. The first two weeks after surgery were the worst weeks of my life. I was stuck on my couch at home for five days and missed a week of classes. I wasn't able to do anything active for months. Being so inactive for so long was incredibly difficult, from going to riding every day to sitting on my bed for more than 12 hours at a time. When I would be out and about, people would come up to me and say something like, oh, I'm sorry, you'll be fine sooner or later or you'll tough it out. But when I'm talking to people about what happened, I can't get my message across to them or whoever I'm speaking to. I want to convey to them how big of a setback this is for me, but it's so hard to get my message across to an audience and for them to truly understand what it's like. I feel like I'm a dog on a leash with a favorite bone just past the reach of the leash. My goal is right there. I can see it. I can feel it. It's so close. But I'm being held back, and there's nothing I can do about it. Time is going by, and opportunities to reach my goal, to be coming and going, knocking at my door, but I'm not able to answer. I'm angry at myself for messing up one little thing that makes me scrap the next seven months of progress. Speaking with people and not being able to get my message and feelings across is so frustrating. And eventually it just bottles up and sooner or later, you lose it. It's so important to stay focused on your goal, even when you're so close to making it. For the next four months, I'm going to find an audience that I can talk to about this. And not just any audience, an audience that will understand how I feel. I want to speak with the younger aspiring kids at the skate park. I want to tell them that even with injuries and setbacks, that it's important to stay strong and to remain focused and passionate about your goal. Otherwise, you may give up and let your dreams slip further and further from your